down to the national team they actually come together but this is the battle here in Lugogo Eritrea up against Uganda what is actually very clear Uganda has actually been a very good uh, host community to very many nationals including Eritrea nationals are here I mean it's actually hot here in Kampala at 24 Eritrea putting on their traditional whiteies, Uganda putting on its traditional red. Well, there you go, the anthems are played and we are back in action here tonight. It is Uganda up against Eritrea in the second match of the day. It's a battle that will be drawing the lines here. Uganda already qualifying for the semi-final. And of course, for the one and only Eritrea, a win today will guarantee them a place in the semi-final. So that is for Team Uganda. And the coach, Alem Seged, Ephraim has actually gone through with almost the same kind of a team that actually collected the win over a thop, uh, sorry over burundi the usual suspects robel ali one of my favorite players that is uh, robel a gentleman called robel telek michael the captain jersey number four was very outstanding against burundi in that match that is engineer moses magogo who was actually banned from football for about uh, a few months and uh, he reports the lineup for Uganda will be coming through Jonathan McKinstry, the coach of uh, Uganda. The youngest coach, by the way, at the age of 34. Just uh, two years below the coach of uh, Djibouti at 36 there. Well, the coach has actually made about three changes, three to four changes. It's uh, Mukatu, uh, that is Mutakubwa, the goalkeeper coming through. And also Mustafa Mujuzi coming in for the first time. Kasozi Nicholas also beginning today. For the very first time for Uganda, Watambala uh, uh, Karim also beginning today. Muzamiru Mutiaba starts today for the very first time. So you can actually realize that it's basically a new set of formation here for the Uganda Cranes uh, coach. That's on the way. And this game starts on 0 0. But at the end of the day, we want to see if it will end 0 0. Here we go with the start. And the Ritria does get us on the way here tonight as Uganda shall be the one chasing. From the left to the right of your screen, Eritrea from the right to the left of your screen. We're just reminding you that Azam TV are the exclusive rights owners of the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup and they are the official broadcasters of uh, Sekafa. Now it's going to be a free kick there. Muzamiru Muchiaba just waiting to leave her. Here comes Muzamiru. Does go for the shot but hits the wall and finally cleared away by Daydan. Mm, now goes away for the passing. Ali Suleiman. Now there's a foul here for Uganda. Oh, skills, skills, skills. It's a late challenge. Coming in from Dirimutiaba. Mukwala. Double start challenge. Referee doesn't want that for the free kick. And will be a yellow card. Well, he's a little bit disappointed. Semere Filmond. Disappointed with the referee's call. The footballer from Denden. The champions of uh, Eritrean football. Who is not very happy. Denden. Filmond. Semere rather. I thought, ooh, that was very dangerous here. Yeah, I don't know exactly why he's uh, complaining about that challenge. It's a free kick brought in by Mustafa. Very poor. Goes away for a throw in. Phone calls going around here just as though the president of the country is coming himself. But now there's a chance here. Steven Mukwala just goes outside. Whistles across the face of goal there for a goal kick. But again, Jonathan McKinstry loving that. And uh, the footballer from Maroons, top scorer of the Ugandan Premier League with 10 goals. And trying to look for a goal here. 
Bayo coming in as a replacement of Bayo Fahad, who already has two goals in the competition here. Uh, Uganda very rich. Sending that ball deep long. It's a brush of the head and straight over the bar. Corner. Well, Mutakuba Joel coming to the rescue there. Oh, that's how dangerous the Eritrean team can be. Totally, totally dangerous. Right. Now Kona brought through. Goalkeeper committing, punching away. It is still in the danger zone. Brushed away. This could be a chance. Hit again. Well read by the captain, Halid Walida. Oh, surely that is a foul. Referee. Kona Walida. Done quickly. Ben Chen lays that ball through. It's a chance and it's over. And this time it was actually coming through. And Seka Jigoviani surely would have put that ball in the back of the net if only he had not closed his eyes. Yeah, there you go. Close his eyes and uh, just missed touch over the direction of the goal. Kafa, Mustafa does the lever. It's brushed away. Mutambala looking for room to shoot one. Mutambala goes for the shot. He goes outside for the goal kick. Mutambala, Karim, wanting to score on his debut for the Uganda Cranes here. Does so well with the first couple of touches here. And the final third was the one that was actually disappointing. Oh, he's loving it. Dayden here. Dayden again. Dayden over the bar. Now that's how close they can get Eritrea. But unfortunately, they just cannot bury this. Well, everything has been good for Eritrea. Look at how they move the ball through. Dayden flicks one. Beats his marker. The space is all his. And balloons the ball over the bar. Oh, the disappointment of those fans. Well, Dayden got Swawi, the footballer from that we expected him to get. Kasozi. Watambala goes for the shot. Ooh, goes outside. Well, the Vip uh, Vipers youngster trying very much to get something from this game. Open himself so well, goes for the shot. Watambala. Mustafa, Ozamiru, letting it very well. Ben Ochen goes back behind. Kasozi, skull kick to Eritrea. But again, good try from Kasozi, trying to dip the goalkeeper. Watching that so well. Distance was so so high. Long pass into the D, chance away and clipped away. It's to be a chance. Biani, a little bit slow on that. Shot from Kasozi. That is a strike that has been wanting. And Nicholas Kasozi from distance rattles the goalkeeper into the back of the net it went what a goal what a goal from nicholas kasozi he was fire and the goalkeeper just couldn't handle it you can see the excitement there but look at this again from kasozi well it was cleared off the line from the distance there he controls it perfectly nicholas kasozi at the end of the day Just goes through. It'll be coming back later. Well, here it is again. Let's repeat that. Time the ball was released. Kasozi controlling it from here and fires. Well, you have to admit the goalkeeper should have done much better. But again, good strike from Nicholas Kasozi. One thing they teach you in goalkeeping school don't make the ball bounce in front of you. Don't do that. And Nicholas Kasozi celebrates. And Uganda celebrates there. It's good pressure from Ochen. Could be intercepted now. Here comes Steven. Goes down. The referee says uh, Mukwala just threw his, himself down. Steven Mukwala, you can see the smile from the striker's face there. 
know that was the chance there was that a penalty or no oh he actually dived there well very good game from the referee today and uh, and there's a substitution for the ugandan side joel madondo coming in for mukwala and one striker for another striker eritrean side Bell Okbe still waiting for his medical. Here comes Ayop Girme. Another substitution, so double substitution here. Dayden is coming out. And then comes Nahom Awet. Uh, Uganda will be making that sub. It will be Seka Jugoviani getting out. And in comes a young Ojera Joachim. Tracking by Ben Uchen. His recovery is very good. Zamiri Mutiaba. Inside the D. Joachim Ojera. Nobody is there. A very good run from Joachim Ojera. Again, excellent play there from Phil Montsemere, defending very, very well. Zamiri Mutiaba, there's a ball through, onside there. Here comes Ojeda yet again. Ojeda hits his marker, he crosses well. Oh, goes away for corner. Oh, that's the, the crowd wants, that's what the crowd wants, you can see them. Very, very happy with that kind of play from Ojeda. Oh, Joachim Ojeda gets the ball very, very well, he's a very clever footballer. When he's martyred, delivery was a little bit bad. Again, look at this from him. It's corner for the Uganda Cranes. Corner. Go through. Made it away. Not very, very away. Samuel just fell into touch. Ojeda. Ojeda again. Joachim Ojeda crosses well. Ah, Miss cue for Madondo Joel. Madondo again. Uh, Joel Madondo. But trust me, the man himself, uh, Ojeda Joachim, has brought some bit of excitement and life back into this match. With those speedy runs on the wing. Zamiru. Here comes Ojera. Whenever he gets the ball, the crowd is alive. Ojera again beats his marker, goes down, and that's a foul. Yellow card given away to six Isaias Abraham. Well, the crowd just urges him on whenever he gets the ball. Isaias Abraham with the yellow. A foul from Ojera. Nice football. Look at Ojera go. He's just very speedy. Well, some of the skills in the match. It's been a victory with some pretty, pretty good skills. You see, Mustafa Chiza to go for this. Chiza call for the handball penalty. That's surely a handball, no doubt about that. Here we go. The hand was raised up, hit him from up. What's the handball? There. It's penalty for Uganda. Mustafa Chiza chises it in. Back of the net it goes. And that could be the end of Eritrea here. Zero for Eritrea, two to Uganda. And they just want to dance, always want to dance. Oh, there they go. There they go. There they go. There they go. Exciting game for the Ugandan Cranes. In the second half, but again, I have to admit, it's a very good game played by Eritrea here. 11 to go.
Simple. Tap in for Mustafa Chiza. Back of the net it went. Now substitution for Eritrea. It does well. Otambala carry. Or gives it away very cheaply. Here comes the run. Ali Suleiman lays that ball through now. The flag goes up on Nehom. He's offside. Very good run. Tight angle, very tight angle. Corner. Joachim Ojer again. Corner brought through. Brushed away. Kasozi flicks. Ooh, very close. Ojera. Otambala. Oh, that's a breakthrough. Mustafa Chis on side. He crosses it back. Ojera! Well, even the opposition cannot believe that Ojera missed that. That was a defense breaking pass coming through there from Watambala. Mustafa Chiza on side. And Joki Ojera. Maybe he had actually stopped it. Oh dear. Even jo Ma Joel Madondo was there. <laughs> Ali Suleiman. Now here comes Awit. Cross ball in by Robel. Oof, over the bar. So don't go away from Joel Mutakua. Well, the three minutes that were added have actually come to an end. The referee blows the whistle to bring this game to an end. Wonderful game. Wonderful game it has been in the second half for Uganda. But again, Eritrea really brought this game to Uganda. And again, good support. Very, very good support from the Eritrean fans here. Very, very good football that they've actually gone on to display. Well, the coach will be very disappointed with the performance here. But again, they put up his fight. They actually put up a very, very good fight here. And that is a fair play. That's the game. I don't know exactly what they are discussing. But it's a fair play, really. About the game, must have actually appreciated the way the game has been played. Jonathan McKinstry. Well, they are still in the mood. The next game for Eritrea will be a game against Djibouti. And that's a game to be played on Friday here. It will be Eritrea up against Djibouti. Then on Sunday, Djibouti will be up against Uganda in that final matches of the group stages. So that's how it is for Eritrea. Well, they still have the chance to actually go down and get something tomorrow. It will be a rest day. So no football tomorrow. It should be having more football coming through but this game ends Eritrea nil Uganda 2 Mustafa Chiza and Nicholas Kasozi the goal scorers for here and again wonderful showcase shown by Eritrea well so far that's how it has been in this group let's actually meet again on Friday for more football in the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup live all the way from Uganda it is what it is but for now bye bye Na mpira umemalizika 100% win ndio kitu ambacho Uganda wamekifanya mpaka hivi sasa wakishinda michezo yote tokea mashindano yaanze lakini leo kuna upekee kwa timu ya Uganda uh, kuangalia wachezaji wawili ambao wameonyesha ukomavu na kusababisha timu ya ushindi kwanza tukianza na mlinzi Kiza ambaye yeye anayo machache ya kuongea Kiza ongera kwa mchezo uh, so far the game was good yeah the good thing we got the three points yeah we are happy because we need, really needed these three points we wanted to win the game is this about the skills or you know well this pitch? Uh, yeah, we know this pitch and so far it, we have the ability to play. 
Yeah, because we can even those who know the pitch, they can't play. If you if somebody tell you yeah. who's the man of a match today, whom are you going to choose? Uh, so far, it's uh, for me as me. I will take as team because we really played well, or the whole team. Yeah, that's a good answer. And what I'm doing is very kidogo kidogo. Like in the impressed sana today, your speed was marvelous. Sijaona katika game mbili zopita kwa nini leo imekuwa ni speed sana? Yeah, the the game was nice. Yeah, we of course when you have speed you use it against an opponent who is slow. So I saw that opportunity and I decided to use the speed I have. Yeah. How was the game without your partner Okello inside today? Yeah, it was quite challenging though. This is a team. We know what what each person has to do. Yeah, of course everyone was fit and know what the coach wanted. So we have we had to do it in time. What's the next step for you players now? Uh, for all Ugandans who are at home, happy for uh, for you proceeding in another uh, another stage? Yeah, first of all, the tournament is home, and we have to use that. The, the we have fans; they are behind us, and as as we individually, we have to put more effort to take to make sure this trophy remains here. Yeah. Asante sana Ongera. No no Swahili word. Najua kidogo. Bwana muongee Kiingereza sana. Ah, I can't speak well Kiswahili. Hebu jaribu kidogo ambia habari zenu na nini? Salimia. How, how do you greet in Swahili? In Swahili. Yeah. I know VP Mambo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you should learn Swahili East African. Ah, asante sana. Ni East African tournament hiyo na umeweza kuona nini ambacho kimejitokeza. Wachezaji hawa wakionyesha mchezo wa hali ya juu mchezo wa ufundi na hiki ndio ambacho tunakitazamia kukiona katika michuano hii mawakala wengi wakiwa wamekuja hapa kuangalia wachezaji na vipaji vyao michuano hii kesho kama kawaida kidogo napata mapumziko lakini mambo yataendelea kabla sijamaliza basi captain uh, wa timu ya Eritrea amekuja hapa uh, tell, uh, hi, hi how are you i'm fine i'm fine I'm all right um, tell me about the game today why you, uh, why did you lose this game Hey, I cannot talk about I cannot talk about the lose of the losing of the game. Yeah. Yeah, it's the God's plan. Yeah? Yeah. I cannot talk about it. So we have to think about the next game. Yeah. That's what I have to say. You had a very good uh, uh, first half, and several times you went in Uganda. Uh, you went inside, but you didn't score. And the second half, uh, you were playing well, but you allowed two goals. What, what is the problem with your team there? Hey, so I can say about it. Uh, it's. Uh, Losing the ball that we can score, yeah. so we didn't score it, so it came to score in ours. So that's it. All right. Sorry about the game, and I'll see you in the next game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Sawa hivyo hivyo na kuwa gapi wakati mungine luga gonga hivyo vula kini tunerewana tu hivyo hivyo tutelewana. Captain Oriti ambao wao anongea kifaransa zaidi amekizungumzia mchezo u ana lote la kuzungumza kwa sababu ni sehemu ya mchezo ambayo imewakuta kwa hiyo cha zaidi wao wanaangalia mchezo unaofuata najua medali unazifahamu sana luga gonga lakini ndio mambo hayo yanavyokwenda hapa ni Afrika Mashariki tutaelewana vile kwa vile